Well, hello everybody again. Snakeby here from Snakeby Gaming. Uh, thanks for uh, coming around to watch a, another video of my uh, journey through the Lord of the Rings online. Uh, I'll be running a warden as we go through this process. Uh, while we were away, I kind of walked around a little bit, uh, uh, tried to get my bearings a little bit. I was up here in a little delving, and I actually took the quest to bring the um, mail down here into Michael Delving. Uh, that was quite just a quick little quest. I wanted to go ahead and start some of the quest chains out here. Uh, what happens whenever you open up your uh, quest pr chains is you can see that I have this from the Shire to the Bree Town. It's actually gold because it's a level 10. I'm still level 6. Um, if you click on the icons over here, you can actually turn them on and turn them back off. Um, I've also did done the Join the Bounder, so I'm going to go talk to Sheriff Bondo uh, Bodo here in a little bit. He's going to ask me to help out here to get a feather cap and also get a little trait finder out there. Uh, a couple of other things going on um, yet, yet here. New arrival in Comb, do a little crafting eventually, so we'll go ahead and work through those. They also, I guess they have their winter festival going on right now. I'm going to hold off on playing any of the festivals until I uh, make it through a little bit of the content. But again, my focus is really going to be on uh, getting in and uh, working through my, the primary uh, quest chains. So if we start here, um, as I traveled over here, you'll notice that there's a uh, a few of these these eyes, and they have a, a darker gold ring around them. These are the the join the bounders. So talk to Sheriff Bodo. Uh, let's go ahead and talk Just to him. Moment. Hey finish and now I'm out there and I've actually um, bound up. I can also do the hobbies. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a quick hobby here. I also earned a trait point here. Trait points can be uh, spent. We were talking about that at the end of the uh, last one. And I can also ride my, my horses now. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick le uh, look at our uh, trait panel and we're going to spend one of these points. Now, when you go to spend these points, I'm going to uh, basically have a plus 5% uh, builder damage. So if I'm building out a gamut, that's going to be 5% more. This one actually increased bleeds. So if I do get a bleed out there, they're going to bleed 4% more. So it's going to take more uh, health off them per tick. Uh, as I level up these, I'll eventually get into a spear sweep. Uh, I have to have five traits um, already out there to, to go into here. So right now what I need to do is just decide, do I want to go ahead and rank up the basic strikes or do I want to rank up some of the, the others? As we move over here, you'll notice these are two points to the next rank. And then they have, you know, so if they're not in your primary trait line, it takes two to, uh, to rank up versus just one. And what this allows you to do is you can mix and match. Um, but you want to go ahead and, and trade. If you're trading red, you're going to be mostly red. Uh, then you'll also bring over a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, whenever we go through there. So I'm going to go ahead and commit that to uh, to my builder. And basically, every one of my strikes, my initial strike, is going to be 5% more, uh, more damage as we go through. You'll also notice that I have a few new. Uh, strikes out here. So I have a shield pin, uh, piercer and return to home. We'll go ahead and mount that over there. So I have these uh, uh, these spear attacks here where I can go out there and actually sh uh, throw a javelin and this javelin will uh, pierce out the uh, defender shield and cause it to bend making it difficult so basically they can't block as, as much whereas this one is um, uh, slowing them down uh, when they go through there. Uh, I'll point out that they do have these escrow brokers and a um, he's a more of a banker vault storage, so you do have shared storage across your different characters. Is there something I can do for you? I've got a lot of stuff in, in escrow because when I was not playing, I would log in ever so often and keep my house uh, going. We're going to get a new house eventually, and as we do, we're going to uh, run through that. I'll point out that I do have a few um, of our um, swords and uh, hammers and anything like that. These are going to be bound to other characters. So this one is uh, bound on someone else. So 
one of my other tunes will have that, and we can go through that. I'm not going to spend much time going through there, but again, here you can see the actual uh, difference between somebody who has a quest that's available. So I can actually Mercy go and me. refurbish the town out? hall, uh, or I can go ahead and complete a quest, and this is part of the main quest line, and this is what I'm going to do. So Mundo's complaint, uh, basically, the uh, this is the mayor, uh, Meryl, Meryl Whitfoot. Uh, he's like, oh, well, my, my goodness, Ken, I get a break Hello here. There. Might I speak with you a moment? So he's asking that I kind of smooth things over here with the Sackville Bagginses. If everybody remembers from um, The Hobbit uh, the Sack and Lord of the Rings, the Sackville Bagginses were uh, Bilbo's uh, in-laws, uh, um, uh, just a different branch of the, uh, of the family tree. And um, anyway, he likes them, but not really, if you really put, put it out there. Now, I'll bring your attention back up here to the uh, upper right-hand corner of the screen. You'll see that I actually have the ability to track different quests. So if I want to actually follow this one, if I right-click on it, I can go ahead and track the nearby quests. Uh, this actually brings up any additional ones that I have. I can actually remove these from my quest tracker. Um, and then I can also come in here and set as Quest Guide Focus. Now, if you set as a Quest Guide Focus, it will actually point you in the direction of where you need to go. So if I bring my map back up, I actually need to, uh, let's see here, Winter, let's see, Prologue. Uh, that's up here at the hill. Uh, if you think about the hill, that's Hobbiton. So I need to make my way over to Hobbiton. Now, I'll point out that I have the Stable Master here. I want to see what the Stable Master has for this particular tune and see if I can actually take a uh, uh, take a ride over or if I'm going to have to um, walk it myself uh, just to talk about some of the different uh, ways you can get around in the system. I have not worked on my inventory at all yet. Uh, right now I'm still I still have all my gift boxes and loot boxes and all those things in my inventory, so we're not going to uh, worry about that just yet. Some of those things that are out there are uh, allow me to actually get my own mount. Uh, I'll pull them up in a little pile to uh, to work through that. But you know, if you can see here, we have a couple of different riders. Okay. This one's a festival rider, so I can actually, if I wanted to go to the festival. I can actually swift travel right there, travel for free. Um, I don't want to go to the festival right now, so we're going to go ahead and look at this guy. And basically, you'll see I can go to different places, so I can go to Comb. Uh, you'll notice that I don't meet the prerequisites. I have not uh, traveled here before. Uh, however, I can travel to this one, and you'll notice it costs money to, to go. So it's going to cost me a silver if I wanted to travel to there. I could also use mithril coins. However, these mithril coins, I have 204 of them, that could be used to uh, purchase other things in-game. So I'll, I'll probably never travel by this. I'll get my own horse here in just a little bit. But I want to go ahead and see if there's a way that I can uh, travel between different sites. Now, this is an interesting place. You have the Shire Homesteads, and I have Hobbiton. I can't go to Hobbiton because I haven't discovered the route first. So in order to actually ride a horse from point A to point B, I need to jump. I need to actually go to Hobbiton on foot. Now that's not a problem because, as you can see, it's a beautiful place uh, out here. You got the big stars. Um, I think if we look, there's some constellations up here that you may recognize some at some point. Uh, full moon going on. So let's just make our way to Hobbiton. As we go, you'll notice there's uh, several ways that, that we can run through here. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. Let me find my... I need to find... I've got the seven stars, gamut instructions, and I'll do that offline. I'll find my uh, my horse sheet offline so I can move through uh, through here. I thought about holding off and and just walking through the environment, but you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and and 
bring those up later. Uh, we'll do that in between episodes out here. Um, oh man, needle hole. Dwarves are a surly bunch. So let's go ahead and find our way to Hobbiton. So as you can imagine, you're going to be doing a lot of wandering around as we go through. But what I love about this is, I mean, just look at the, the environment uh, as you run through uh, the Shire. I also did some key binding while we were away. Uh, I want to uh, try to do something. So I've got a wolf out here. Um, I want to go ahead and see if I can... Yep, there we go. Looks like my key bindings aren't quite uh, where I want them to be yet, but we'll go through there. <clears throat> so I've got some deeds bestowed, and you'll notice that I have this Wolf Slayer, Slayer deed. Uh, it increases my reputation with the Mathem Society. I want to get my reputation up to go. I'm also uh, received a, a title if I just uh, defeat enough sh enough wolves out here. I need to do 30. Uh, if I go there, that, I'll be known as Snigby the Fur Cutter. And I'll also earn five Lotro points. Lotro points are important if you're running a free-to-play account. You can use Lotro points to buy in-game uh, in expansions packs. So as we go through here, I may get into an area where I have never been or it's new. And you can actually use Lotro points to buy that. So if you're a free-to-play player account, you can actually run this free all the way uh, through. Um, another thing I wanted to do is I actually want to make it through. I got Snigby the Wary. Uh, there's a whole t uh, chain of titles here that if you don't die in the first 20 levels or so, you'll actually be the undefeated or something along those lines. Um, Deeds, you'll notice I have the seven star, uh, star title. I'm also received the Wary. So as we rank up and get these, we're going to, to uh, touch on those. And I do have some other Deeds I'm, I'm following out here as well. And I don't want to go out there and get any more trait slots just at the moment. So we're continuing on. We're running through uh, the way meet. We're coming down here. Uh, nice little little town in the middle of uh, the Shire. Um, I've been kind of running cross country, but uh, you know, look, I've got some chickens here. Uh, by the way. There's a chicken run quest. It's hilarious, and I'm probably going to do it. Uh, I'll do that as a special one-off episode, but um, we're going to go ahead and run that. <laughs> this is interesting. Somebody's getting, why did I get a quest notification for the Yule Festival? Yule Festival is normally uh, during the winter time, during Christmas, if you're in the, uh, in the United States where I am. Uh, but it's running an encore this week, looks like. So somebody pointed out that it's an encore. You'll see I've got a copper deposit here. Um, this is where you start getting into crafting. We're not going to do crafting just yet. Um, and also, if we look up here on our, our uh, tracker, I actually have this Tusker that I can uh, uh, run here. And I'm getting a, a new deeds here. And we'll go ahead and, and run through these. Alright, so deeds bestowed. Efficient thrust. Use the quick thrust 200 times. I'm going to do that uh, just by going into combat. Use death strike 200 times. Use strike with goad 200 times. <clears throat> Wary blocks. Use this what is it, 200 times. Imagine that. So just by going through and um, fighting uh, uh, mobs throughout the uh, the environment. Uh, I'll be completing quests and, and deed chains, and this is all going to get me Lord of the Rings points. And Lotro points allow me to uh, actually, like I said, buy new instances, expansions, anything along those lines. And I actually rebound my. Uh, my attacks to 
they're, they're still bound to my 1, 2, 3 across the top of my keyboard, but because I do the uh, WASD to move, um, the mouse is good to, to look around and to uh, uh, move that way, but you typically move when you're in combat with your with your keys. So I can go ahead and spin around with the, uh, the D key, the uh, E key is a strafe left and right for E and Q. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and do this. The reason I do that is because with the Warden, you are constantly um, building gamuts and gamut change. So you'll have a two, you know, at the level I am, I'll have a, uh, a sword sword or a sword shield. And then once I finish that, I want to go ahead and, and do the gamut uh, builder, which I'm actually uh, hitting this. So I've bound these to my number pad, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I have this as zero. Um, I'll eventually bind number five to my enter key on the numpad, and then six is maybe the plus key, so that I can go in and and uh, easily take my hand off the mouse, still be able to move around. Um, the only thing I can't do is click on things uh, when we get up here. But uh, as we're doing go through combat, having one, two, three, where I can build my gamuts while I'm moving around and, and switching. Uh, targets with the tab key uh, will allow me to do a lot of uh, a lot better whenever I'm I'm fighting multiple mobs, especially. All right, look here. I'm at the hill. Sites of the Shire, the party tree. Um, there are deeds just by exploring the uh, the world. So I need to find the party tree, need to find the mithril stage, find stock tower, the quarry, the bridge hill. I am going to do these because I just think everybody ought to experience um, the Lord of the Rings. There's another quest chain that just takes you to random places throughout the, uh, the environment. Uh, you'll find a, another explorer, and as you do, pardon me, as you uh, run through that, you'll be able to... Uh, get some other explorer deeds out there and it's just really beautiful uh, I've, I know I've said that a bunch about the environment here but I just I can't keep keep from it I just love Lord of the Rings and the lore here okay so what am I doing here I'm actually going up here to talk to Labella uh, Sackville Bagginses um, so that and I, and I use the Gollum Bagginses I don't know why um, if we think about Lord of the Rings uh, the movies by uh, Peter uh, Jackson uh, that's one of those those areas out there. And so we're going to go ahead and, and talk to Lobella and see what she has to say um, in here. Can't a body be left alone? I heard this trouble about my nephew Mumbo who went to the Breland or some of you here on with the cold Porsche to repay us. I'm not. Oh my goodness, what use is the mayor anyway? What use are the bounders? My nephew has gone through so much and he's barely outside the bounds. So really goes back to the attitude of the Sackville Baggins. Don't walk off. I need to speak with you. So she's going to ask me to make myself useful. I need to go ahead and, and run through uh, some other pieces. You'll notice it's a quest level 11. It's a solo quest. We're going to go ahead and, and work through this. She, they will give me a gift bath, a Matham whenever I go through here. This is how you can get um, experience with the Matham Society. So we'll, once we get this, we'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll work through that. Uh, she has another quest here. What's going on? Fireworks. Hi there. Give me a moment. So she wants to have fireworks for a birthday party. Um, she'll pay me. Uh, go talk to Hyacinth Took. And again, this is just going to take me around the the, the Shire if I wanted to. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, you know what I want to do? I think I want to run this a little bit differently. I need to level up a little bit. I'm about a third of the way through um, my level 7. Uh, in order to level up, I can actually come in and fight characters. Hello I can, there. Might I speak with you a moment? I can also come in here and do some other quests. So I'm going to go ahead and do the dances. So every 20 minutes, he leads a dance. I don't know when this is. This is actually one of those reward type things. And I'll basically learn how to look, dance like a Hobbit 1, dance like a Hobbit 2. And I'm not going to do that. that I'm not going to wait around 20 minutes to uh, uh, to do that. 
Uh, this one is this. That's a food. Here it is. This is a hilarious quest, although I don't have enough time to run it to, on this episode. Uh, basically, this is drink beers and run to... It's basically like a pub crawl. Okay, so you can actually run from A to B to C. And if you can go to all the different uh, uh, pubs, uh, you'll do that. That will be a whole side episode, and I'm going to do that on the, the next one. So I'm going to run a few of those quests out there. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, I think what I will do is, I've been going about 20 minutes right now. Um, where am I and where in relation to other things here? I need to go back to Michael Delving. I think what I want to do is I want to find this, uh, uh, our horse here. Basically, that's my stable master. That way I can move there for quick travel. And we're going to go ahead and, and do that. So... Let's make our way over here and find the stable so we can go to the other stable very quickly. By the way, there is a fishing hobby in um, in Lord of the Rings. Uh, you'll need it at certain points throughout your quest line. So I'm going to do that. There are also daily quests and uh, basically these here. So if I go out and click, uh, collect bent claws, uh, we can we can do that. We have uh, broken t uh, daggers, broken sword sheaths, dirty ears, dirty filth. So if I look down here, you'll notice I actually have four ripped skins. And I don't see ripped skins down through here, right? we got some dirty fur and some other things. There's cracked carapace. There's torn fur. So I can actually come in here and was torn fur one of them? A uh, small ear. Anyway, we're going to run some of these. When you accept those, you increase your ex, uh, reputation with the Matham Society. So if I go out there and collect some of these things, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and run those before we get too far out of the way. Uh, what do we have here? Could I take a moment of your time? Uh, this is Yuletide Woes. We're not going to worry about that. Um, another Could Yuletide Woes. Could I take Rose. a moment of your time? Yeah. Uh, so, show me my travel okay. destinations. I can go to Michael Delving uh, and and back. I can also go to Westbury if I wanted to travel by paying. But we're going to go ahead and travel, and we're going to look around as we do this. So in between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clean out my inventory. I'm going to run through this. I'm going to open up these these gift boxes. Um, I may open up a couple on screen here uh, just so you see what you get after having uh, one year. You notice this one says contains fun fireworks. This one contains some celebratory boosts, um, black steel keys, and, and so on and so forth. Also, I have some apparent writing trait packages. Um, armor the hammer hand so custom armor that I can I can use those are cosmetics uh, for the most part um, and I need to go in and find a place where I can start selling some of these uh, items so you'll notice that the worth of that leather shirt is one copper penny um, oh boy one copper penny but it's a copper penny I didn't have before I can also sell these small fields and the small goose um, turning them in for tasks. Because these are closer to the uh, uh, Brie, I'm not going to mess with those, uh, but we're going to go ahead and, and work through this. All right, we're coming up into Michael Delving. Um, I can press escape. No, oh, let's log out. We'll go ahead and just go all the way. There's a way I can jump off of this. I don't remember what it is. I'll, I'll figure that out. I'm going to figure out a lot of things off screen if you if you hear me talking about that quite a bit. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm here, and I can go ahead and, and run on. So while we wait for um, my time to go up, I want to go ahead and open up a few of these gift bags. 
and let's see what's coming on out there. Okay, anniversary fireworks. I'm going to set them off. And there you go. So I can go ahead and, and launch those again. This is what I got for one year on the server. Two years. Um, I received two tomes of continuous witness. That allows me to run faster. I'll probably do that here in a few minutes. Uh, attack damage for 90 minutes. Uh, we've got that. And uh, there was something else that came up. We'll, uh, we'll walk through that. Uh, Three-year gift box. Black steel keys. I don't remember what these did. Uh, at level 15 uh, allows me to unlock Traveler's Adventures loot boxes. So got some loot boxes I can open up later on down the road. Um, party dress. All right, party dress. So again, just some cosmetics here. There we go. We got the Festival Azure Steed. Uh, I have to get the writing trait first, and we, we have that in my inventory somewhere. Uh, what is this one? Another festival horse, some festival horse armor, saddles uh, that we can use. And uh, what's this one? Riding trait. That's what I've been waiting on. Now that I've got the riding trait, I can go ahead and mount my, uh, go to my skill mount. If I bring up my character and go into my skills. Uh, I have the Festival Azure Pony, and I can go ahead and mount that here. Um, and if I click on it, looky there, I've got a horse. I can now ride around much, much faster in the environment. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, and jump off of this. Uh, see what else we have here. Uh, this was the armor, the hammer hand. This was a uh, expansion pack that I bought early. Uh, it was uh, uh, oh, what area was it? Rohan. Uh, when I went over into uh, uh, Rohan, and oh man, that map was so much prettier. There's Lothorian. My goodness. Okay, uh, we're getting sidetracked here. We're actually opening up our, our little gift boxes. Uh, another uh, uh, gift set with some different uh, cosmetic traits that we can use on our um, our horses. Uh, this one gives us the shield of the hammer hand. Um, this shield actually goes on your back, and when you're wearing it, I'll put it back on. You'll notice that it gives me plus one vitality, plus one agility, plus 25 cent legendary item XP, plus 25 cents experience gain for every person that I kill. If you're leveling up fast and you want that, you can use it. I'm probably going to leave it off for now. Um, it does take an armor slot. Uh, you know, in this case, it's my my cloak slot. Uh, but it does have a lot of good stuff out there. We'll think about that as I move forward on this. But we're going to continue on. Uh, Gift of the Aldors, four slighted cloaks geared towards level 75 characters. I've got those. Uh, what's this one? A seven-year gift box. I have not seen that one yet. I have a new shield. It's a cosmetic shield. So character, remember we talked about cosmetic outfits? Um, I can actually slot this in my shield. I believe that's right here. So if I go ahead and put that, use the equipment tab of the character. Oh, I see what I was doing. Duh. I want to click on this outfit, and I can actually drag it over here. Can't be. I don't know what's going on there. Eh, not a big deal. Uh, more armor. You notice my inventory is getting very, very full out here. I'm getting a lot of um, uh, cloaks and, and different things like that. We're going to take care of that off offline. Another cosmetic uh, uh, set of loot and gear. 
and I believe that is just about it. So I'm going to uh, do a little bit of work offline, just moving around, uh, playing with some uh, some of these cosmetic slots. I'm going to uh, look at all the different Porsches that I have. Oh, there's another loot box. Quest item. Message of thanks. We'll go ahead and accept that. And I have this now. Tarnish whistle gets me that. Man. I just can't quit. Okay. Contains five items. I don't have five slots. All right, I need to clean out my inventory, um, do a little bit of inventory management offline. Thanks, everybody, for uh, sticking with me as I rambled through this. I didn't really have a plan uh, to this afternoon. I do want to start putting these out. Um, I was planning on doing it every other day. Um, I'm thinking about doing them daily. So if you would like to see a daily content on this, please let me know by leaving a like, uh, doing a subscribe uh, on this. And uh, we'll see you next time. So this is Snakebee once again signing off. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.